Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the man in the attic. I don't know who let him in, but let's go and say hello. When I was a kid, I often had the same nightmare. It was about this man just standing in my room looking at me. I was convinced that he came from the attic. I shared a bedroom with my brother at the time, and when I had this dream, I often spoke out loud during my sleep. According to my brother, I said things like, somebody is here. There is a man here. He is here. It freaked my brother out in the middle of the night a couple of times. I am an adult now, and that horrible nightmare is just a distant memory now. Or so it seems. Ooh. Know what's happening in my cursor there? Ooh, some good detail in this. What year is it? What's up here? Is the man here? Attic. No reason to go there. I will do as I'm told, game. I don't need to use the bathroom now. I will in a few minutes. It's a nice little place. Here's my phone. Hey brother, I just wanted to let you know that we arrived at home safely. Thank you for the invitation. We had a great time and it was nice to catch up. I also feel like I have to apologise for Lily's behaviour. But you know how kids are and their imagination. She was probably very tired as well. See you later. Take care. Never ever doubt a child seeing a scary thing. They are always right in films. Just don't have kids. <laughs> no scary bits. <laughs> Problem solved. Clean the table. The day my brother came to visit and he brought his family along. His wife and their seven years old daughter. Her name is Lily and technically she is my niece. What do you mean technically? She is your niece. It's been a while since I had I last seen them, so we spent about half an hour catching up with each other, just talking. After a while, I noticed that Lily was really uninterested. I don't blame her, after all. Adults talking about everyday stuff is probably the most boring thing for a child. I'm pretty. I'm a pretty good uncle, so I offered her to let offered to let her watch TV in the upstairs room, showed her all the cartoon channels, and left her there to watch some TV away from the boring adults. She was grateful. Okay. It's a very dark kitchen. I don't like all this black space. Do dishes. The night went on. It seemed like everyone had a good time. Dinner was ready, so I was about to go upstairs to get Lily to eat with us. And that's when all of a sudden Lily ran downstairs screaming. She looked absolutely terrified. It took her a couple of minutes before she could speak. But then she finally said this. There was a man upstairs staring at me from the doorway. Confused, perhaps a bit frightened, Confused, perhaps a bit frightened, we all went upstairs, searched everything, checked the attic as well, only to find nothing. Eventually, my brother dismissed Lily's story, claimed she was probably just getting tired. And soon after they left for the night, I am once again completely alone in the house, and Lily's story sounds way too familiar. I'd be leaving very quick. Why is this such a dark kitchen? Why is... I can't see anything. Time to get some sleep. Oh, the room, I don't need to go there. Can I run fast? No. It's a bit eerily silent. According to Lily's story, this is where the man was standing, looking straight at her from this doorway. Or return to the attic, just like in my dreams. <laughs> These noises there are coming from the attic. I don't remember leaving this door open. That music is never a good sign. 
Hello? There is nothing over here. That I can't stop looking at that thing. Go back to bed. You stay there. Is there anybody up here? A lot of noise is going on. Oh, I don't like that. Can I close this door? No. Don't be sensible. Just don't look behind you. It's fine. If you can't see it, it can't hurt you. Sometimes a strange night at night keeps you awake. Then you anxiously search for the cause. But you won't find anything. And you question it once more. Hmm. Is the man in the attic real? Why can't I move? If this is gonna jump out at me. Bastard. Fear is subjective, but it's not uncommon to be afraid of the man in the attic. Or the man in the basement. Perhaps the man under your bed. Thank you for playing my specific fear, the man in the attic. Mixed feelings about that game. It was fantastic atmosphere and sound design. Graphics were incredible. Um, the, the, the developer, he really knows how to build an atmosphere. I, I was constantly in fear of being, I don't know, something around the corner to stare at me. But uh, I think the only complaint is that there was a lot of reading and it was very short. Um, I was kind of hoping that the story would be fleshed out more. The story is good, but I just wish it was a bit longer. Maybe like a 20 minute game rather than, I think this might be a five minute game. Uh, I haven't checked the recording. You know what, overall... You know, fair play to him. I wish it was longer, but what can you do? I wish that about a lot of things. Um, but yeah, if you'd like to see more scary games, more indie games, please subscribe. Uh, click the bell notification, select all to get informed about all my uploads. So you won't miss that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye for now.